The J-20 stealth fighter is the most fascinating Chinese fighter jet, but most of its details are still secrets. A new video from Chinese Air Force gives us another look of the J-20 stealth fighter's cockpit. In this video, we can see the pilot getting into the cockpit, and in the process a part of the multifunction display can be observed. The lighting is not good, therefore I have brightened it up in this screenshot. It is again proved that the J-20 has a large-size single-piece multifunction display, similar to what the US F-35 fighter has. The J-20 features a glass cockpit with one primary large LCD touchscreen multifunction display and three secondary auxiliary displays and a large-size wide-angle holographic heads-up display. The size of the primary display could be over 600 mm wide, roughly 25.63 inch by the diagonal. It is also reported to have redundant illumination design. In the new video, the J-20 fighter pilot also talks about his experience in Chinese Air Force. He is in his 20s and graduated from Chinese Air Force Academy 10 years ago. He has been flying training aircraft, J-7 fighter, and then J-10 or J-11 fighter, then joined J-20 stealth fighter unit. The pilot is he has a total of over 1,000 flight hours. In the U.S. Air Force, a pilot averagely flight 200 hours per year, that means they do fly a bit more than the Chinese pilot in the video. However, it is worth pointing out Chinese Air Force is fast growing, 10 years ago the pilot would not have the same opportunity today to maximize flying hours. In recent years, due to pressure of the possible Taiwan Strait conflict, Chinese Air Force is taking steps to improving training of Chinese fighter pilots. The goal is to match how the U.S. Air Force pilots receiving training. A consensus in Chinese military circle is that pilots are equally important as the hardware. The Chinese Air Force Training Command has put in place newly designed curriculum and actively encourages pilots to think and act independently, making split-second decisions without consulting ground command center. Previously Chinese pilots still follow air defense interception doctrine, restricting pilots to follow ground command instructions. In today's air combat, and considering Chinese Air Force will need to come out to attack enemy over hostile airspace, encouraging pilots to action proactively is clearly the only way to go. The training system also reflect this change, especially in the elite J-20 fighter units. China's initial fighter pilot training program is promoting pilots who are better trained at a higher rate than before. The training reforms include J-20 stealth fighter units to work with older fighter jets, including J-10, J-11 and newly developed J-16 fighters. And J-20 units are having internal training to enhance the capability to combat stealth fighters like F-22 and F-35. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and comment. It will really help us developing this channel and bring you more videos about Chinese military news. Thank you.